Hey, Johnny, are you sure you want to eat that sandwich? Yeah, why? Do you know how dirty your hands are? No, what? On each square centimeter of your skin, there are about 1,500 bacteria. And there are around 2 to 10 million bacteria between your fingertips and elbow at any point. These germs can stay alive for up to three hours, and you've gotten them from everything you've touched. Ah. So, what have you been doing all day? Well, first I went to the computer lab to print out a paper. To discover if bacteria was present on the computer's keyboard, we first removed a cotton swab from its container. Next, we used it to swab the surface of the keyboard. After swabbing, we returned to the laboratory and prepared an auger plate. We then gently swabbed the surface of the auger with the cotton swab. Finally, we covered the auger plate and let it sit for 24 hours. After 24 hours had passed, we returned to the lab to see if any bacteria had grown on the plate. And here is what we found. Next, I went to the bathroom. <laughs> After leaving the bathroom, I got a drink of water. And after that, I went to the library to study for my AP Biology class. It's just my favorite. <laughs> Well, that's disgusting. Should I use hand sanitizer? Well, Johnny, you could definitely use Germex hand sanitizer. This is a mild antibacterial gel with 63% alcohol as well as preservatives to inhibit bacteria growth after application by denaturing said bacteria. To use, add a dime-sized drop to your hands and rub for 15 seconds. The CDC actually recommends the usage of hand sanitizers in general. This product does not contain harmful isopropyl alcohol found in some rubs and contains aloe vera to decrease skin shedding in those who use Germex. Lastly, Germex is glycerin free as to refrain from making your hands sticky. However, hand sanitizer kills all cells on your hand, even your own skin cells, so choose carefully. Well, what about soap? Nearly all compounds fall into one of two categories hydrophilic, or water-loving, and hydrophobic, water-hating. The cleansing action of soap is determined by its polar and nonpolar structures in conjunction with an application of solubility principles. The long hydrocarbon chain is nonpolar and hydrophobic, repelled by water. The salt end of the soap molecule is ionic and hydrophilic, water-soluble. When grease or oil, nonpolar hydrocarbons, are mixed with the soap water solution, the soap molecules work as a bridge between polar water molecules and nonpolar oil molecules. Uh, since soap molecules have both properties of nonpolar and polar molecules, the soap can act as an emulsifier. An emulsifier is capable of dispersing one liquid into another immiscible liquid. This means that while oil, which attracts dirt, doesn't naturally mix with water, Soap can suspend oil and dirt in such a way that it can be removed. The soap will form micelles, see below, and trap the fats within the micelle. Since the micelle is soluble in water, it can be easily washed away. Our purpose in completing this lab was to see how effective various antibacterial agents are at eliminating bacterial growth on surfaces such as our hands. Our independent variable was the antibacterial agent, hand sanitizer, soap, and water, while the dependent variable was the amount of bacterial growth, measured by size and appearance of the bacteria. Our control group used no antibacterial agent. First, we created our own petri dishes, pouring in agar and then allowing the gel to cool. The next day, we split up into three groups, control, hand sanitizer, and hand soap. Each group applied their respective agent. What? <laughs> The hand sanitizer group applied one pump of the gel and rubbed for 10 seconds, allowing their hands to dry. Immediately after 10 seconds had passed, they pressed their right thumb onto the petri dish for the zero minutes trial. Everybody run your hand through your hair. 
Dr. Bradley occasionally asked the lab scientists to touch their hair or put their hands in their pockets during this time period. The soap group washed their hands and dried them with paper towels. Then they pressed their right thumb into the gel in the petri dish for a trial time of zero minutes. The control group just pressed the right thumbs onto the gel for time zero minutes. After five minutes of normal classroom activities, such as note-taking, all the students pressed their thumbs in a second auger plate for trial time five minutes. The same process was repeated for times 10 minutes and 15 minutes. Each scientist stored his or her plates in the incubator at 37 degrees Celsius overnight to allow the bacteria to grow. And here are our results. So, now that we're done with our experiment, which antibacterial agent was more effective? The triclosan-based soap or the alcohol-based sanitizer? Based on the results of our experiment, the hand sanitizer performed better, but only when we removed the outliers from our data. One possible reason for the outliers is after prolonged usage of an antibacterial agent, a drug-resistant strain evolves. Yeah. The soap results were inconclusive at best. Along with antibacterial resistance, our data might have been skewed because we only washed our hands for 10 seconds before rinsing. This is not enough time for the triclosan to kill a large number of bacteria. However, after 5 to 10 minutes, the trend in the number of bacteria on our hands decreased. This could mean that the triclosan took effect during this time period. While our studies and others have shown that hand sanitizer and antibacterial soap does help rid your hands of bacteria, it does have negative effects. Overuse of hand sanitizer can lead to dry or cracking skin. So can overuse with some types of soap. Dry and cracked skin may actually result in more bacteria entering your body. But washing in moderation is fine. Also, after spending only 15 minutes in a normal school setting after cleaning, bacteria accumulated on our hands again. This goes to show that bacteria are everywhere and we cannot kill them all. So don't worry about it. Bacteria are part of our life and we live with them every day. Washing and sanitizing in moderation helps, but there's no reason to get carried away.